I'm gonna be smelling like a snack. Happy New Year, Cherry Bomb. <laughs>hope you guys had an amazing new year my new year was really good um we went to church for the 31st and then we came home and chilled for the rest of the night that's literally what it was i was watching tv i think i went to sleep at 5 a.m this morning and now we are up and refreshed i woke up around 1 p.m i don't know if that's you know eight hours you did the girl math but i'm so happy to be back with our regular scheduled programs okay vlogmas was epic if you haven't catched up on vlogmas i'll have the playlist in the description box below for you guys but i'm so happy that we are finally in 2024 we're leaving 2023 behind all the stress all the problems behind and we're bringing in prosperity we're bringing in positivity success if it wasn't by the grace of god i would not be here so i'm super excited to share with you guys my official first video of 2024 it is actually going to be posted today it's a january perfume tray so if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in let's go ahead and grab a seat let's go ahead and grab a drink and let's get right into our first official youtube video for 2024 <laughs> As you guys know, because we were doing Vlogmas, I did not have a December tray. So in December, I was wearing a whole bunch of different fragrances, but specifically during Vlogmas, I focused on layering combos that you guys gave me. And let me just say, that video is going to come up with my favorites from you guys, but let me just say this. You guys did that, okay? Y'all did that. I really enjoyed every single recommendation that you guys gave me that I was able to try. There's some that I'm still trying out, but the ones that I was able to try and that I documented with you guys, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. And because I was doing Vlogmas as well, that's another reason why we didn't do a perfume tray for December. And y'all already know December was hectic. We had the concert, we had Vlogmas, we saw it was a lot, but I'm so excited that we are now here and I can actually breathe and take a break. So let's go ahead and jump right into this perfume tray video. What's really good about this specific perfume tray video, it's solely focused on vanilla and Germans, okay? So all month long, for the month of January, your girl is gonna be wearing all Germand vanilla-based fragrances. So the first fragrance that we're gonna be wearing is a fragrance that is an OG on this channel. You guys know I was wearing this fragrance when I got engaged, but they brought out a new flanker and I couldn't talk about it until now, but it is one from our favorite brand, YSL, and it is Black Opium Over Red. Now you guys, I really couldn't talk about this fragrance at all. I don't even know if I can mention it right now, but I see a lot of people are mentioning it and it is out to the public, so I think I can talk about it. But I've had this fragrance for the past, actually, two and a half months, okay? And your girl been testing it out. And the funny thing is, I did not even know the notes of this fragrance because it was not available for no one to buy or anything. And now that I know the notes, I'm like, oh my gosh, I was on point. So black opium over red, oh my gosh. So it has the top notes of cherry and green mandarin. It has the mid notes of orange blossom, jasmine, and black tea. In the base, you have Madagascar vanilla coffee, Indonesian patchouli. Girl, out of all the black opium flankers, y'all already knew that I love the, um, in, was it black opium extreme? Cause that was a heavy vanilla fragrance. But if you like the note of cherry and coffee and vanilla, this one is yours. Now, I will have to say, it is not a heavy cherry fragrance, okay? But that cherry definitely brings this one out the most. The coffee in this and the cherry, it is amazing. If you guys ever had those um, chocolate dessert um, boxes for the holidays, and then it has different assortments of chocolate with peanut butter, and it has raspberry. I've had one with cherry, and that's exactly what this is giving me. I really enjoy this fragrance, and on my skin, it lasts. And I know a lot of people say that black opium do not last, blase, 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 but black opium over red, for me, definitely lasts, and it gives all the compliments. When I was wearing this, everyone was asking me what I was wearing, but I couldn't tell you guys because, honestly, it was a secret. But I'm so excited to finally share this, and this is one that I'm going to really wear and openly wear 
on the tray this month and I cannot wait. The cherry note with that coffee and the vanilla just has me on a chokehold and I can't get enough of it. Now, is it something that you need to go and get? Honestly, I would not tell you to just go and run and blind buy it. Definitely test it out first because if you are a black opium lover and you have a lot of the flankers, honestly, you don't need this. But if you only have one black opium and you're looking for a starter cherry fragrance with the vanilla, with the coffee to balance it all out, then black opium over red is the one for you. The next one that is on my list is one that just came out and I opened it for New Year's and it was my New Year's scent. And you guys, a lot of people don't like this fragrance, but honestly, I feel like it's because you're not an almond lover because if you like almond and vanilla, then I, you really can't go wrong with this one. This fragrance literally came out and the anticipation for this fragrance was extreme. And when everybody got it, they were like, this is not giving what it's supposed to give. But when it comes to this brand, I don't put my expectations super high because I already know like since they were sold, the longevity is not it. But surprisingly, I did get compliments on this fragrance and it's Tom Ford's Vanilla Sex. First of all, can we just talk about how beautiful the packaging is? The packaging is pretty. We're not gonna take that away from Tom Ford. Let's just put that out there. I don't care what y'all gotta say, like it's timeless, it's classy, it is Tom Ford. But this has bitter almond, it has vanilla. This one is definitely a grown and sexy type of vanilla fragrance. It is not giving vanilla sex though, but it is grown and sexy. It's almost sensual. If it was called vanilla sensual or vanilla musk or just plain old vanilla, I think that it would have been better. But because everyone in their mind saying, you know, oh my God, it's called vanilla sex. So that means it's a sex overload type of fragrance. No, I did not expect that at all because it's coming from Tom Ford. And then the color of the bottle literally set it off for me. This is a pretty soft vanilla, but it did last long on my skin last night. I want to test it out a little bit more because I did wear it towards the night. Most of the time when I wear a fragrance at night, it tends to last long because there's no heat, you know, it's cool and I'm not sweating and moving around. I'm not doing too much. So that's why I want to wear this for this month and really enjoy it and to see how well it lasts. A lot of people have been saying that it does last. The ones that do like it. Most people don't like this fragrance. I'm not the type of person that's going to hate a fragrance because everybody hates it. I'm not the type of person that's going to just run and go get a fragrance because everybody loves it. Tom Ford gifted this to me for the holidays. I would like to say it is a Christmas gift because it came just in time, but I wanted to talk to you guys about it first and do an unboxing on the 31st and honestly I like it it's not for everybody because if you don't like almond then you're not gonna like this one but it's a pretty one and I think it's sensual and it gets better as it dries down it's really really nice and honestly for $400 I don't think that you should go ahead and get it and run and get it no but if you find it on a good discount, definitely get this. Um, it's nice, but it's not a vanilla that you need, 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 need to get. It's not the best vanilla out there, but it is one that I really like. And I'm so happy that I didn't have to spend my money on it um, because the price tag that Tom Ford has now is insane. But I'm a Tom Ford lover for life, so I'm just going to have to bite that bullet. Um, but I'm glad I didn't have to bite this bullet, okay? Vanilla Sex is amazing, and I like it. It's not what everybody thought it would be, but it is what I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be I thought it was gonna be a soft, central vanilla because judging the packaging, it did not give off, oh, we're about to be super sexy. If it was like a dark, ambery bottle, then I would have been like, this is going to be smoky. It's going to be dense. That's another way you can judge how a fragrance is going to smell by packaging. Most of the time, the packaging matches the scent profile. And for me, when I saw that, I was like, yeah, this is not going to be a sex overload fragrance. I like the name though. And honestly, that name is sick. Okay. The name is sick. I don't care what y'all say. Vanilla sex. Love it. The next fragrance that's on the perfume tray is from Commodity, but it's Commodity Gold. This is in Brox and it's vanilla. This is like what you would like your skin to smell like during the day if you are a vanilla lover. Okay. This right here, is a vanilla lover's dream, especially if you're a minimalistic type of person. This is for the vanilla lovers that don't wanna wear a vanilla that's too heavy, but that just wanna go out for quick lunch. That wanna wear a vanilla, but that wants to go out and run errands that's sick or that doesn't want something too heavy. This is that vanilla for you. You need different type of vanillas. You need a date night vanilla, you need a signature scent vanilla, and you need a vanilla that you could just wear when you don't feel like wearing anything. This is it because this is like what I want my skin to smell like at all times when I'm not wearing a fragrance. Right out the shower, a fresh, clean, sensual vanilla fragrance. And that's exactly what this is. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. 
when Commodity sent me this, all the girls was going crazy after it. And I just didn't understand the hype. And I finally understand it because this is for the minimalistic girl. This is for the girl that just wants to wear fragrance and smell good, but that don't want to be bothered, okay? It is soft. It is airy. It lasts long on the skin. This is the expressive. And I like it. And it's perfect for layering. If you like any notes like in Broxton Iso E Super, this is that, but with an added touch of vanilla. I really enjoy this fragrance. It's so simple, but also complex at the same time. Okay, if you're that clean girl, or if you're that minimalistic type of girl that just want a fragrance that's gonna be soft and airy, but that's gonna last long, Gold by Commodity is perfect. Now y'all know I love a good bedtime fragrance and this is my bedtime fragrance for January, okay? This is a ambery, sugary, red berry vanilla fragrance that I really enjoy. And if you are new here, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but if you've been here for a while, you already know exactly what I'm talking about. And it's Nebras by Latafa. Girl, I love Nebras. Nebras. I love Nebras. It's beautiful. It is airy. It is sweet. It is sexy. It's alluring. It's a little bit powdery, ambery. The red berries just gives it the perfect fruity touch that it needed. If you're looking for a beautiful vanilla that's affordable, this one is amazing. It smells like Billie Eilish, but it lasts longer and it projects longer and it's actually deeper and sensual in my opinion. I love it. I think that this one is one Middle Eastern fragrance that everyone needs to have in their collection. You guys know that you can find it on Amazon. It's extremely affordable and that's what I like about Middle Eastern fragrances, okay? This right here is everything and I like it. You need to get this in your collection, especially if you are a vanilla lover and especially if you are a Middle Eastern fragrance lover. This one is a staple and you need to have it in your collection. Every single time I wear it, the compliments are insane. I smell like a bakery. I smell like a vanilla cake. I smell like a freshly baked pie. I'm just like, what? All the descriptions I be getting with this fragrance is insane. If you wanna smell very edible and very pretty, this one is it. And I'm definitely wearing this all month long to bed. Oh, look, I'm gonna be smelling like a snack. Now for the cooler nights, because it is getting colder here in Florida. <laughs> y'all thought y'all was the only ones that could get cold. Yeah, no, it's kind of getting cold, okay? You see the sweater, you see the vibes, H&M. I got this if you've seen my last vlog of the year. Well, my second to last vlog, because the last vlog is gonna come out sometime this week. But if you've seen the, um, the Christmas vlog, the end of the year vlog, y'all, I got this from H&M and I love it. It is so luxe, it is so good. It feels so luxurious, it feels, it feels more expensive than it actually was. I love it, okay? But anywho, y'all, because of that type of weather, I am definitely pulling out my note vanilla. Oh my gosh. This is for those nights where if we wanna catch a movie or if we're catching dinner or if we're just out and about and I wanna smell like a gorgeous pound cake, this is that. This is what I want when I want something that's alluring and sexy and a slightly sweet and powdery. This is what I want. If Vanilla Sex came out in a darker bottle like this, then you would have expected it, or a darker juice, then you would have expected it to be Vanilla Sex, okay? So I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. But this right here is exactly what I'm going to be wearing on our date night, especially those date nights that's close encounters where he'll be very close and cuddly by me. I like this one. You guys already know this was my favorite vanilla in my collection. One of my favorites, of course, definitely top five for sure. Okay. Love it. Love it. Love it. Definitely going to be wearing this um, for a date night, specifically on the colder nights. Now, this next one is a newer one in my collection, but she has taken his place and definitely my top 20 vanillas. Y'all know my collection is a lot of vanillas, so top 20 is really good, or even top 10, and it's from Navitus perfume and it's Monte Cassonade. Don't act like you didn't know that I was going to bring out Monte Cassonade, okay? Love this one. It's a beautiful sugary gourmand fragrance. I really enjoy this one. I don't know what it is about this fragrance that just keeps me coming back for more. Y'all, I'm not going to share it. I was going to share a layering combo, but I'm not going to share it. Wait till you see the vlog. Wait till you see the vlog that's coming up sometime this week, probably at the end of the week. Wait till you see the vlog because baby, you're going to really enjoy this fragrance if you have it in your collection. Oh, MG, love this one. Like I said, and like I'm gonna always say, Sharita did her thing with this one. This is really nice. I feel like this is a blind buy worthy fragrance at the price that it is. And of course, with the juice that you're getting, like quality all the time, 
It's so long lasting. It is so sexy. It's so alluring. And I really love this one. My backup bottle finally came in the mail. I got it when she had 30% off. Don't play with it, okay? And now I can freely wear this without worrying about it being finished because when I like something, y'all know. I talk about it a lot, okay? And I like this one a lot. It definitely made the tray this month. Last one is one that I have been waiting to share with you guys. But with the concert going on and a lot of things going on in my life personally, I just never had the chance to share with you guys. But this by far was and is my favorite release of all time. Y'all know I love Mani Kastanad, but when I smelled this one, I was like, okay, this one right here is my favorite release from Navatus all year long, okay? It was no questions asked. This one is a collaboration between Gabby Love Perfumes and Navatus Perfume, and it's Baklava Royale. If you are a Grimond lover, pause the video, go buy this right now. You guys know I have a discount code and the link in the description box below. Pause the video, go buy this right now. First of all, it's giving gold. Y'all know I love gold. Black and gold at that, girl. That's where she had me. When I opened the package and I saw the box, I said, yeah, I already love this. When I smelled the fragrance, that's when I fell in love. It has a top notes of orange blossom and Italian bergamot. Heart notes of honey, pistachio, and grilled almond. It has the base notes of amberwood, Madagascan vanilla, and Brazilian tonka bean. This is so sexy. And I've noticed that I really love the grilled almond that Navatus put in their fragrances. This is not the first fragrance that they had the grilled almond in, and I am in love with that fragrance. It is so long lasting. It was between this one and Mani Kassanade, honestly, for me. And let's just say this one has 100% and Mani Kassanade has 99.9%. .9%. That's how close they are when I tell you I love them. This is alluring, it is sexy. Mark smelled it on the card and he said, babe, this is my bottle. He said, go ahead and get you your own. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of Soda Genario Trusa 62, the perfume. But like if it had a older cousin, a grown and sexy rich auntie. Like imagine Soda Genario making that fragrance, but in a private collection. Girl, it is beautiful. It's milky, it's creamy, it's sweet. It's a little nutty. It is alluring, it is sexy. Oh my gosh, this is so good. It is so good. I feel like if you like Brazilian Crush, then you'll love this one. They are not dupes at all. I'm not saying that she duped it or got inspiration from that fragrance. This reminds me of that fragrance, but a grown up version. Oh, when I tell you guys, I really wanna get another bottle of this. This is gonna be one of my secret weapons when it comes to the Grimaud fragrances. I already know myself, I'm probably gonna be wearing this the most. Hands down, probably gonna be wearing this the most. I already know myself. Y'all don't have to tell me nothing when it comes to this fragrance. It is sexy, it is alluring, and it's on the perfume tray for the month of January. I'm literally trying to smell like the Grimaud Queen. This is exactly what I'm gonna be having on my perfume tray. What are you guys wearing this month? Comment down below. Have you tried anything? And if you are interested in anything, I will have them linked in the description box below. If I have any coupon codes, I will definitely have that. And that was my list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tune into the channel, share it with your loved ones. And until we see each other again, please, please, please stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances. Bye, chair bombs. <laughs>